The Breitling Emergency is the first watch with a built-in miniaturized emergency transmitter. This pilot's instrument is unique in its kind. It enables close-range localization of crews reported missing. The emergency operates on the 121.5 MHz International Aviation Distress Frequency, like the automatically triggered distress beacons carried on any aircraft. Its function is not to replace the onboard beacon, but to serve a complementary role by giving its wearer an additional chance of survival. The emergency has the significant advantage of being worn constantly on the wrist, making it accessible in all circumstances. The transmitter must only be activated in case of genuine distress and in a purely aviation-related context, so as not to clog up the 121.5 MHz frequency. The emergency produces a pulsating signal emitted every 2.25 seconds. The letter B for Breitling, broadcast in Morse code at one minute intervals, differentiates it from other types of beacons. Despite its miniature size, the emergency transmitter achieves ranges identical to those on an onboard distress beacon in terms of both signal power and quality. The transmission technology used is entirely compatible with the means used by search and rescue teams worldwide. A range of 220 nautical miles has been measured in clear conditions, such as from the peak of a mountain. In more standard situations, such as on relatively flat terrain or out at sea, the transmitter range reaches 90 nautical miles for a plane flying at 20,000 feet. In undulating regions, the range is reduced. Nonetheless, a search and rescue helicopter may pick up the signal at a distance of 10 nautical miles. In this type of configuration, the position of the transmitter plays a crucial role in maximizing the transmitter range. Breitling has designed the emergency in such a way as to avoid any accidental or improper activation. The transmitter may only be activated deliberately, and only once. The transmitter is activated by unscrewing the protective antenna cap until the security ring snaps. One need then only pull out the antenna till the cap separates from the antenna. The semi-rigid antenna is then pulled out to its optimal length of 43 centimeters or 17 inches. The transmitter is now in operation and at an average temperature of 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit has an autonomy of 48 hours. It is important to realize that the function of the emergency is to locate people reported missing. Its activation does not necessarily trigger rescue missions. To ensure the transmitter is working correctly, the emergency is equipped with two operating indicators. First of all, a beep sounds every 2.25 seconds in chronograph mode. In parallel, the symbols flash in alarm mode. On the mission version of the emergency, transmitter operation is signaled by the tenth of a second hand rotating once every 2.25 seconds. To guarantee maximum range, it's essential to place the watch with its antenna pulled out at the highest and clearest point within reach. Moreover, to avoid a short circuit, the antenna should never come into contact with the metal parts of the watch case. When at sea, the antenna must at all costs be kept out of the water. If the temperature drops below 5 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit, the batteries no longer supply all their energy. It is therefore preferable to keep the watch on the wrist so as to maintain the transmitter at an optimal temperature. To increase the transmitter range, the emergency is equipped with an auxiliary antenna, which need only be unwound and left hanging freely. On the mission version, the steel case plays the role of range amplifier. To interrupt signal transmission once the rescue mission is complete, the antenna should be cut at its base or wound around the case. 
The range is thereby reduced to only a few yards and no longer intrudes on radio transmissions. The emergency comes with a testing receiver which enables periodic checking of transmitter operation. Thanks to this device, the signal can be heard when the watch is placed on the receiver. It is also possible to test the transmitter by pressing the corrector push piece on the back of the watch. The chrono and alarm modes serve as operating indicators. However, to avoid the batteries running down too quickly, this test must not be performed if not absolutely necessary. The emergency is made up of two independent modules, the transmitter and the watch. The fact that the watch has sustained damage does not necessarily mean the transmitter is not operational. Powered by two lithium batteries, the transmitter is water resistant to a pressure of three bars. When worn on the wrist, its operating temperature ranges between minus 10 and 85 degrees Celsius. The watch module is a multifunction electronic chronograph with analog and digital display. A versatile instrument, it enables measurement to within one hundredth of a second and also offers alarm, countdown, and dual time zone functions. The emergency is crafted in titanium, a metal renowned for its sturdiness and lightness. On the mission version of the emergency, the hour module is a chronograph featuring analog display with tenth of a second in split time measurement. It also enables fast time zone change. Like all products carrying the Breitling signature, both versions are officially chronometer certified. Each model is supplied with a storage and travel case accompanied by the testing receiver and explanatory documents. The use of the emergency is strictly reserved for the field of aviation and its sale is subject to certain restrictions. The purchaser undertakes by signing a contract to comply with the restrictions governing its use and accepts liabilities resulting from any improper use. On the other hand, if transmitter activation is justified, as in an aircraft crash, Breitling undertakes to replace the watch free of charge. Each owner also benefits from a free overhaul two years after purchase of an emergency. Successfully tested by many search and rescue organizations around the world, Emergency has already saved several lives. This wrist instrument has become synonymous with safety for aviation professionals. It is worn by pilots of the most prestigious military flight teams. It is also standard equipment for all pilots qualified on the Saab Gripen. The emergency earned its place in aviation history on the wrists of Bertrand Picard and Brian Jones during their non-stop round-the-world balloon flight aboard Breitling Orbiter 3. <laughs>